Welcome back, comrades. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> All right. Glad to have you guys back, and um, we are doing a Altoid Survival 10 kit, per se, however you say that. But yeah, we're going to make a Altoids 10 Survival uh, 10 and um, there's all kinds of videos on the internet of this. But this is going to be my own personal one that I'm going to do. And right off the bat, you can already tell that this one is not the Altoids color. It's because I spray painted it. And uh, I spray painted an OD green, the coolest color in the world. And uh, yeah, so uh, got to have a little bit of camouflage. So I hope you guys are doing good, and um, hope you guys enjoyed the last adventure, the last overnighter that we did. I had a lot of fun out there, and um, we'll be getting back out again. It's just really hot right now, but we'll be doing a summer camp, so it'll be coming eventually. And uh, so yeah, so let's just get right on to the video. And uh, with this one here, I am going to, over here, you can't see it's off camera, but I have all the uh, accessories that we're going to put in this. And uh, this is going to be my own take. My, oh, I put a lot of thought into this kit. And um, basically I bought all the stuff online. Stuff that I needed to make this kit. And um, so let's go ahead and get on to the show. Okay, so first things first. This is glow-in-the-dark masking tape. And we are going to put this on the lid portion right here and the idea behind this is to if it's night out or something or you know if I leave this sitting out I can have the tape on here the sun will hit it and maybe charge it a little bit and then at night hopefully it still holds a glow we're gonna test it out when I open it I can keep about like this and I can see my contents inside with this glow-in-the-dark tape so that's gonna be the first thing on here so to save time and purposes and everything, I'm just going to do it off camera, tape it, and then we'll just keep going through each item. So I just put two strips on there. Yeah, there's a little bit of metal exposed. No big deal. That's all I think I'm going to need. So while we're getting our, all of our next items out, I'm just going to leave that open. And uh, that way the light's hitting it and it's going to charge that. So our next thing is, is this cheap duck mirror duct tape. And my idea behind this is to put it on this inside of the Altoids can. And it's because I want to have a signaling mirror for signal. And with this here, it seems a little more reflective, the tape, than the Altoids can does. It's kind of got a rougher surface. It's not like an actual real military signaling mirror. You can't actually see a reflect. It's not a mirror, but it's close. It'll still reflect, but... I think with this tape, it's got way more of a reflection in it. So that's going to go there, and that will be for signaling. So I can take everything out, and I can signal if I need help. All right, so check that out. <laughs> that is a lot more reflective than the Altoids 10 aluminum. You can even see the camera and everything. Can you guys see me there? Oh, there I am. <laughs> oh, there I am again. Okay, that's pretty cool. So yeah, that definitely worked. That was a good idea. I must say that was a good idea. <laughs> all right, our next step is, let's see here, I got all the components up here. I need something flat, so let's go ahead and do this. This here is a magnifying lens, called, also called Fresno lens card. And I had to cut them down to fit in the Altoids tin. So that's going to be our next step, but I want to keep it in the sleeve to protect itself. And so in order to fit these cards in here, you're going to have to cut the corners a little bit and maybe the length of them. That's what I had to do with mine. So that's for starting fire. So there's our starting or our fire starting source number one. We need a cutting. We need a cutting tool for cutting purposes. So here I have a razor blade, and these are a little bit different. These aren't the rectangle ones these are angled ones so it gives you a little bit more of a i think it gives you more room to work with with your fingers than if you have the little rectangle ones or they can be they can be a little smaller they don't have the angle here and the angle you can do other things with that you couldn't do with a regular rectangular one so 
that was my idea behind that. So that'll go next. I'll just set it in there like that. Our next step is going to be a P38 can opener. Always good to have in a survival kit for all situations. All right, next up is portable aqua chloride dioxide. This is good for getting the viruses and all the bacteria and stuff out of the water when you need to drink it. So I just took two tablets. Well, actually, I bought this. I had these already, but I have two tablets here. And those are just going to go right there. And that's for your, so you can drink water safely. All right, the next step is going to be, it's a toss-up. I was thinking a tea light candle in here, which it takes up a little more room. Or we can just do some birthday candles, which the birthday candles, yeah, they take up room lengthwise, but that would keep everything distributed better. So I think we're going to use some of uh, the birthday candles. And I think I'm going to go ahead and just put uh, three of those in there. Okay, and our next step is going to be a reservoir um, bladder type material. It's a latex material and it's uh, for holding water. And um, you want to get the non lubricated uh, version of this. And it's just for holding water because if we're going to have our water tablets, we need something to hold our water in. So, non lubricated latex or non latex, depending on what you, if you're allergic to latex, but that will be our next thing that we put in there. And that will be for holding water. Next step is going to be a button compass. Always got to have something for kind of any kind of navigation. And for an Altoids 10, it's going to have to be a button compass. <laughs> so that's our next step. All right. Now, got to have a lighting source. And a lighter is nothing better than a lighter. But before we put the lighter in here, we need to wrap the lighter with some bank line for a cordage. And we can wrap it on the lighter. That way we have it always. And we also have some fishing line as well. So we're going to get those all wrapped up on here. And uh, we'll see you in the next step. I might as well show you how to wrap this lighter or any handle. But basically take your bank line, cut your desired length. And here it's actually, I got a pretty long, pretty long piece here. Just so I know I have enough. But make a loop. You have one end longer than the other. Leave this a little bit longer, so when you get to the end of it, you're gonna you're gonna want to be able to grab it and pull it tight. So actually, we'll make it just a little bit longer. There we go. But basically, want to make a loop. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my longer end, and then I'm gonna start going over the shorter end, like that. It'll work with me here. That's just to get it started. There we go. Okay. Get you on camera there. I'm going to get it down a little farther though. Then we're just going to start going over. Like that. There we go. So we got started now. And you just basically just keep going over. Wrapping her around. And I'll keep wrapping this. And then I'll bring you guys back up here when I get to this point. Okay, so now we're at the top here. So next step is, you can see it there on camera, is you want to take this. I got the loop that we made. And that's going to go through that loop. Like that and then you're just going to tie a knot just like a little just a knot just like an overhand knot nothing nothing fancy okay you got the knot made there so now what we're going to do is when i told you that short end we're going to take it you're going to see me pull it through so i just pulled it through down through there So you want to pull that tight, and then we're just going to tie off the end here with another knot, just a little overhand knot, nothing fancy. 
and try to work that knot down to as close as you can to the bank line. That way it stays nice and tight there, firm. There we go. Okay. We'll take our razor blade here and we'll just cut it off. And that's how you do that. Now you got your bank line on your lighter. And then what we can do next is we can we can wrap some fishing line around there as well. So we got the fishing line on the lighter now and I got to redo that. I must have cut my knot on accident on my bank line. So next step is going to be, oh and I will tell you that this fishing line was not forgiving <laughs> trying to put that on. It wasn't easy. So keep that in mind if you ever do it. Uh, third thing that we're going to put on the slider and be done with is the thread for sewing. And uh, you just never know when you need something to sew on your clothing, rips, or anything. So that's our next step. Okay, so we got our sewing thread on there. Uh, before I forget, our next step here before we put this in the thing is we're going to take, we're going to need a sewing needle because you're not going to be able to sew without having a sewing needle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit this. Let's see if we can put it behind the bank line. Nope, we'll just put it behind the fishing line. There we go. So I'm going to take that needle there and it's going to go right right there and so now we have the needle with thread and let's just take it even a step further and we're going to need a fishing hook and that's got to be for the fishing line so we'll go on the other side here I don't know if we're going to be able to fit that in there find a spot to put it that way we don't get snapped. Well, if we put it in that way, it might not. Well, we can just hook it there for now. That way it's not loose in here. All right, for our next step, we're going to take a couple safety pins. Just need two. Safety pins are great. A lot of multi-uses for those. We kind of had to reorganize a little bit. So we'll put two in there. Our next step here is going to be some glow sticks. Once again, this is for lighting, and uh, we'll just go ahead and throw about four of those in there, and uh, you just snap these, and we'll we'll turn the lights off here in a little bit, and we'll go we'll see if the stuff works pretty good. But there's the glow sticks, and we'll just put about four in there. That'd be for lighting. Next up here, the other way is if you guys remember my last overnighter, we used the wire saw, and uh, with this being a basically an all survival kit with multi-uses not just strictly for camping or anything like that but for a lot of different just everything we're going to go ahead and put a wire saw in here and because yeah it's not great for making processing firewood but it's kind of a jack of all trades you can do about it, a lot of different things so you can use it for different things so that that's my idea behind that so that's going to go in there so far so good, can I shut the lid? I can't shut the lid yet. So we gotta rearrange some stuff here. Okay, I just, I had to readjust all that. I took out two of the lights and two of the candles. So now we just have two Kim lights and two candles. Next step I'm gonna add is I want another fire source and I got two Stormproof Yuko matches that come with a striker as well. And that striker is gonna fit just right up there. I think I can fit those right there let's just make sure it still shuts okay so it's shutting just fine there's no uh no bulging because if it's bulging in all honesty then it's not made to go in this can i don't want that i want to fit just right like it was made for it and so the last thing i'm going to put in here and i think is going to be some gauze and we just need a little strip of some gauze you never know you're gonna get a cut you might need to filter some water possibly so you could put this over something 
if you find like a water bottle or something, you could filter water with this as well. But once again, <laughs> this has got a lot of multi-uses too. So this is gonna be our last step for the inside and then we're gonna move on to what we're gonna do on the outside. Gauze is in on top, holding everything in. Now let's close it and let's just double check and make sure it's going to close without any kind of problems. Okay, that is it. That is all I'm gonna be able to fit in this can. You can see it's, it's perfectly, nicely, even. It's not bulging at the top. There's no, it's not overfilled. It's, that's it. That's everything that's going to go in this Altoid. See, there's not even much shaking. So that's good. Solid. Now, before we move on to what we're going to do on the outside, let's go ahead and open this up. Let's check out that glowing dark tape. Let's see how good that works. Here we go. Oh, get that light too. Oh, now check that out. So if it's night, I'm like on a stealth mission. Boom. I can see. You can see in there. Other, you got my, my red light on my camera, but you know, if you're out at night, see my thumb there? Yeah. If you needed real low lighting, you didn't want no one to see you, you got some low lighting. Pretty cool. Well, that works good. All right. Let's try out the uh, the one little, or the LED sticks, the Kim lights. I can find it here, it's dark. So you just break them. Shake it. Hey, it's not bad either. So you know if it's nighttime, I need to find something. See my hand, that lights up pretty good. So cool, yeah, pretty neat, that works too. My next step here for the outside, because we haven't put anything on the outside yet other than paint, is we're gonna use some duct tape, orange duct tape type material. And the idea and purpose behind this is for signaling and also for fire starter. Um, if you got tears, rips, or you need to tape something up, you got tape. And we'll put a few layers just across the top of it or the bottom, whichever one I decide to do, but we'll put a few layers across it and that way you have tape for backup. All right, I went ahead and I put three pieces on the bottom. So our next step, our final step, I believe we're at our final step, is we're going to take, what do you think this is? This is Ranger, they call it Ranger Bands, but this is actually an inner tube tire or yeah, tire inner tube, however you want to say it, rubber inner tube. You can buy Ranger bands, but I mean, the way I look at it, I had, I had bicycle inner tube tire here and uh, I just cut me little strips of it. So basically we're gonna take that and we're just going to, let's get me a bigger piece here and we'll just put that around the outside of this. Now we'll hold everything together real nice. Get it on there. There. There's one. I just put. I'll put. I'll just put two on here. Let's put this wider one on here. It's got more, more coverage. There we go. That is the, or my, <laughs> Altoid Survival Tin. We could really even take this thing even a step further. And you can, you know, you can always put stuff under here too, under your bands. But uh, I think that's good for now. If I think of anything else, I might, we might come back and revisit this and make some other Altoids. Before I forget, this is the kind of kit you can keep in your car. You could put, you could store in your, if you wear cargo pants or cargo shorts, you could put this in your pocket and store it there. You could throw this in your backpack. Or you could do what I'm going to do with it. This is my knife that I keep in my uh, escape and evade pack that I have already ready to go. But um, 
this is what I keep. I'll just put this thing. It'll just go in my little pouch here that I have on my knife. Man, I don't think the rubber is allowing me to push it in. It's a little tight. There we go. It's going in now. There. It's a little tight. There. Okay. So I can keep that in there. And that's what I'm going to use for this. This is going to stay in there. And that's going to go my Escape Evade pack. But yeah, you can carry it on you. Carry it in your car. Um, it has a lot of other, you know, you could just wherever you're at. It doesn't matter. So if you got a bicycle, you could put it in your little bicycle bag. Um, a lot of places you could store it. So anyways. So let me know what you guys think about this kit. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Might be a little long, but I wanted to take you through the process and show you what I put in this and what I thought of and, you know, based on my idea of what I was thinking for survival in this situation. And uh, if I missed anything or forgot anything that may be a little more important to put in here, just let me know in the comments section below. And uh, I enjoyed this video with you guys this morning. It is so hot outside. I'm probably not going out for the rest of the day. <laughs> so... Guys, I was glad to have you back, and I will see you guys in next adventure. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing next, but it uh, might be next weekend or the week after. I've got some family coming up, so I might not be next weekend. Um, but we'll be figuring out some videos coming up. So if you like my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. That always helps me out. And we are getting close to 500 subs. So I'm thinking about doing another giveaway. So, uh, yeah, get me up to 500 and we'll do another giveaway. How about that? All right. So, yeah, hit that subscribe button, notification bell if you would, and share with the world. <laughs> All right, guys. God bless you, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.